بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله uh, This is also another application of the steady state solution or the frequency response or the, uh, the steady state solution which is the vibration absorber What's a vibration absorber? Okay uh, How to model it? How to use the uh, uh, steady state solution for this application? All right Okay uh, this is a machine, a running machine, with the, uh, for example, a rotor, rotor uh, uh, bearing system like a pump or compressor running at high speed. And there is a unbalanced force, which is a harmonic force under damp system. So we have vibrations. Okay. And the system is supported on the floor uh, with the, uh, on a bearing, for example, which is the bearing is like a spring and damper system. Okay. So this is like a single degree of freedom under dam system mechanical system all right now what is my objective my objective is i want to reduce the vibration of this machine which is the large mass so for example if this is my simple model i'm assuming x the amplitude of m i want to reduce it i want to make this vibration x equal to zero okay is it possible is it possible the answer is yes how i'm going to add a, a small mass and small spring and attach it to the system to the large system okay we call we're gonna call this small mass and small springs uh, spring we're gonna call it the absorber we're gonna call it the absorber is it possible we will see we will model the system and we will see if it's uh, 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 possible to make the uh, uh, amplitude x equal to zero or very low okay let's see you need to get the equation of motion of the system. Okay. So this is the uh, uh, free body diagram of the large mass, the original mass. And this is the free body diagram of the uh, uh, motion of the small mass, the absorber. Okay. These are the forces we got. You know how to do this from chapter 3. Derive the equation of motion. This is the equation of motion for degree of freedom x. This is the equation of motion for degree of freedom y. Okay. Now, you can rearrange. Okay. Then, what we are do, trying to do, what's the input here? We can use the steady, the steady state solution. We need to derive the steady state solution for what? For x. How are we going to do this? What's the input? What's the output? The input will be the external force, always, as we did in this chapter, right? In this analysis, the harmonic forcing function. This is my input. And the output, the output we're going to focus on x. We can also have another output to measure the displacement y. But we're going to focus on x. Okay, so derive the equation of motion. Okay, derive the equation of motion. Then take Laplace transform. Okay, now you have two equations. How many variables we have? We have uh, one x variable and y and p. Three variables, two equations. Can we derive the equation of motion if the input is p and the output is x? The answer is yes. We need to eliminate y. So we're going to focus on this transfer function only. I'm going to focus on this one. You can also derive this one for your information for the analysis. But we're going to focus on this one. Now, this is the transfer function. Remember, in this chapter, how we want to derive the amplitude. Remember, I want to have the amplitude of the steady state solution of x. I want, and then I want to make it equal to 0. This is my objective. OK, so the objective here, the objective here, the objective is to get the steady state solution x0. Okay, at steady state. Okay, at steady state. Okay, how much x I want to solve, and then in order to make the objective is to make x equal to zero. This is my objective. Okay, this is my objective to make x. So, how are we going to get this x? We're going to use the sinusoidal transfer function, remember? Okay, so you need to get what? You need to get uh, the um, uh, transfer function. You need to get the sinusoidal. You get the transfer function, number one. Number two, get the sinusoidal transfer function. Uh, 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 plug in j omega, just like we did in the beginning of the chapter. Plug in j omega. Then, how are you going to make this value? What is x? Is it the magnitude of the sinusoidal transfer function? Multiply by the magnitude of the input, right? This is not going to change, right? This is fixed. 
fixed. You cannot change. What can you change? You can change this one. Okay. So this one is this transfer function that we got. This is the sinusoidal transfer function here. Okay. So how are you going to do this? How? You, what's the objective? If you make t g omega equal to zero, okay. How are you going to make it equal to zero? If you make the nominator, why are we going to do it, make it equal to zero? Because I want to make this equal to zero as well, right? Okay. You want to make this equal to zero. How are you going to do this? If you make the denominator, or sorry, the numerator, the top, equal to zero. So this is the numerator. So what can you see in the numerator? If you make this equal to zero, you will get the trans sinusoidal transfer function equal to zero. And then you will get your amplitude equal to zero. And then you will get your objective, which is to make x zero, the vibration of the machine, equal to zero. Okay. So what are the two things that you can, uh, or the, uh, uh, you can change? Usually the speed, this is the speed of the rotor, the speed of the external force. This is the speed of the external, the imbalance force. Usually, we use the vibration isolation for a fixed speed uh, machine, like a pump, compressor in the field, uh -huh, turbine. So the speed, this is speed usually fixed. Okay, usually this is constant. What can you change? You can change Ka and Ma. So how are you going to do this in the field? Uh -huh. If you have a machine in the field, this is the machine. Okay, this is B, this is K, and the external force, uh, P of T, harmonic. We usually attach, okay, either you attach a mass spring or you attach a cantilever beam. Cantilever beam. So this cantilever beam huh, will have a, uh, a stiffness, Ka, right? Like a ruler, okay? cantilever beam okay this cantilever beam will have ka and it will have a, a mass ma so usually you will pick a cantilever beam ma which is usually uh, five percent of uh, the large mass so this is fixed what can you play with you can play with the ka how are you going to play with the ka okay you can make make the uh, length smaller or higher this will control ka so this is usually fixed and this is what you gonna change ka design ka and this is usually constant and all this we're doing to make the amplitude equal to zero okay and then you will get your objective and this is simply the vibration uh, absorber all right thank you very much